Hi everyone, you're alright? Yeah, we just had a visit from Henry. Yeah. Pretty. Well, we've had two visits from him today. Yeah, I'm going to show you something. There you go, once again. It goes to show, doesn't it? Tooth busted. Once again. That's uh, the second one to do that. So it looks like I'm going to have to ring the dentist up again. The side of it is completely gone. For a big section of it. We'll see what happens. And uh, to be truthful, so far... This dentist has uh, he's just done a fill. He did a filling on my wisdom tooth, and that, and the one further down, that's playing up. So, to be truthful, I'm not really too impressed with this dentist. And, uh, yeah, not good, not good at all, so I'll give him a ring this week and uh, I haven't heard from him for two weeks. Yeah, so, we'll see what happens, see what happens this week, and, uh, yeah, so how are you lot, okay I hope. Um, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, Mum's got something planned. So. She ain't going to be happy that uh, one of my other teeth uh broken. She's not going to be at all pleased. Yeah. They didn't... Well, one of the major things that uh, happened... If they did... If they did ring me up... Uh, well... They didn't leave me a message. Yeah. So it's wait and see. So and I tonight, as I said, I had a section of one of my teeth break. Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. I don't know if to brush it or not. Just in case the other side drops off and exposes the nerve. Yeah. I'll just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow. And, uh Give him a ring. Give him a ring. And, uh
yeah, see what happens. As I said, Henry's been here tonight. Um, yeah, it's also been quite noisy because someone down further down the road has been having a party. I think it was someone's birthday. So, yeah. As I say, with it being Monday tomorrow, we'll see what happens. And uh, Tuesday, I've no idea what's going to happen for the rest of the week. Uh, I think we might be going to look for a new freezer. fridge freezer and uh, yeah not good not good at all hmm so We'll just have to wait and see what happens this week. So we'll just wait and see what happens. Yeah. Well. And someone's got their car ticking over outside. Yeah. So we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, the other day, we went and sat on Tesco, car hike. So, sometimes that's just the way it goes. The way things are going, I think I might end up having all, these lot, all this lot ripped out. Well... Wait and see. Mm. So, we'll just wait. I'm going to wait and see, see if Henry comes back. He had a fair bit of kibbles today. Came this morning. Came back. And uh, got some more. So we'll see what happens, see what time he turns up. Turned up uh, one, I think it was three o'clock, 20 past three, somewhere around that uh, time. Yeah. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, isn't it? I have noticed that... Uh, all the universities are putting up, putting up their uh, uh, adverts at the moment for students to uh, pick them. I saw the I saw one for Metropolitan University of Manchester. I saw one for uh, Salford University. Who else? Um, Manchester University. 
and I'm trying to think which one, which, uh, which, which, uh, other, oh yeah, University of Salford, and, University of Central Lancashire. Yeah. Quite a fair few. But I'll tell you something. <laughs> you have to get a good job afterwards. Because the fees you have to pay, etc., A really expensive thing. And I mean really expensive. And you know a lot of it you could do at a local college. You know? Instead of going to uni. If you're leaving school school you can basically go to sixth form and do majority of it there. And the thing is, you wouldn't have to pay a penny for it. You can do it as a sixth, sixth form. You know, you can do it that way. And um, not go to uni at all. Because a lot of your local colleges can do that. Uh, to be real and frank about it. Because you can do university courses at colleges. If you wanted to. Yeah. A big massive shout out to all my lovely subscri subscribers. You're absolutely awesome, Matt. Um, as I said, I'm going out tomorrow. Hopefully. And uh, I've no idea what we're going to be doing. If I can film it, I will do. But uh, one of the things that will happen tomorrow, I think, will pay Tesco a visit, I think. And I, f I think I'm going to have to move some tin stuff tomorrow. And put it in a plastic container. Because our, uh, as I said, our fridge freezer has gone uh, peak tongue. So we've had to stick some of the food in the oven. To cook it so it doesn't go off, and uh, yeah, because uh, we'll see what happens. Um, what I really think that's happened is that uh, that some of the trays, the drawers in the bottom, bottom freezer part. What has happened is um, the drawers on it have basically. But this is the one in the kitchen. The one in the kitchen 
the drawers well, have the compartments in because when you have a fr freezer, you have them in compartments. Well, those drawers are broken. So it doesn't keep the cold in to those drawers. And, uh, yeah, we've been getting a lot of water. Someone's having a smoke outside. Yeah, I can smell someone having ciggies. It's blowing across. Yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. And I just hope uh, it's going to be a good day today. Because it's getting up to about what? Uh, what time is it? 12, 11.44. Nearly 12 o'clock. As I'm doing this. Yeah. 12.44. Hang on. No, 11.45. Get it right, Alan. It's not quite 12 o'clock yet. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, so... Well, I'm going to disappear now. I'll see you in the next one.